Good evening to everybody. Welcome to this special edition of Sports Bites PH. Um, for today, we have a very special guest for you, a very lovely lady who's into a lot of things in sports, and she's also a SEA Games medalist. But before we get to her, I'd like to call on my co-host for today. First off, we have Miss Rika Aquino. Hello, Brian. Hi to our viewers. Exciting Hi, ang ating episode today. <laughs> Balita ako, As usual. You're gonna, you're gonna try one of our sports? <laughs> try lang. Yun yung operative word. Try. Yeah. <laughs> Looks hard, pero exciting. Yan. But if there's somebody who can tell us more about the sport, this is our other co-host, Miss Roan Beltran. Hello, good afternoon. And of course, our co-host, Sir Brian and Rika. And of course, to our viewers. And for today's episode, I'm very excited to have our guest today because at her age, she's very inspiring and she's not just your ordinary athlete. Eh. So it's going to be really exciting. Yeah. At saka ngayon, kung nalaman ang age niya, nagulat ako, hindi ko tinanong. So, <laughs> bye bye. Alright? Pero ito, meron tayong isang kasama ngayon. Mamaya, kasama ko rin siya, pero gusto niya rin mag-try ba sports? Let's call on Mr. Andy Fiel. Uh, good day, uh, Godfather. <laughs> uh, Rika and Roans, great to be with you guys again. Uh, parang kagabi lang magkasama tayo, Brian. Hanggang ah. mamaya magkasama tayo. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Tsaka, ano, I'm uh, looking forward to speaking and asking questions uh, to our guests. A very, uh, like uh, Roans said, very inspiring uh, young lady. Mm-hmm. Yun nga eh. Ito maganda pa. Pero bala na kayo magtanong kung magkatulong kayo sa love life niya. Well, anyway, tanong natin. <laughs> Let's call on 2019 SEA Games Gold Medalist for OCR, uh, Ms. Kaizen de la Serna. Hello po. Hi, Sir Brian, Sir Andy. Hi, Hi Kaizen. Hello. Hi. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> of course. Yan, nakikita niyo naman yan. Mga... Isang, one of the lovely faces we have in Philippine sports right now. Uh, Kaizen, for every, anything else, maybe ask how are you doing? We all know that we're in this ECQ and the pandemic is growing worse. How are how are things going on your end? Um, on my end, I'm, I'm doing okay naman. Um, at first, I had a hard time adjusting, but then now I was able to adjust. So I'm doing well naman. So are, are you in training or anything? Has this affected you or... Medyo na-alter yung mga regimen mo? Um, actually, we had training before ECQ. So we already had um, face-to-face training and pretty huge obstacles. So that's our training center. And then with the ECQ now, we have to train at home. So we're still trying our best to, you know, keep in, to be in shape and to keep training. All right. Oh, ito, ready ka na, Kaizen? Ito na yung mga, ano, mga mamalak, mga hirap na tanong. Okay, let's <laughs> Let's call on Rohan Beltran. Because uh, guys and kasi, um, di ba, like, for how many years nagsama kami sa gym, we were, ano, gym mates, gymnastics, like, few, lang, di ba, nung year ba yun? And, talaga si Kaizen is, ano, marami talaga siyang, kahit saan mo dating sports, nag excel talaga siya, and, Siyempre, kasi pag gymnastics, no, parang it's a good foundation talaga kapag maglipat ka ng sports. And I'm so curious about, kasi siyempre, like for me, ang hirap din mag, mag ano, yung mag-decide ka to change sport from gymnastics to to other sport. Sa'yo, how did you, um, kailan, uh, mahirap ba na process yung pag, paglipat mo or parang paano mo paano ka nag-decide na lilipat ka from gymnastics to obstacle course okay so um one of the hardest decisions i had was to decide whether i should continue gymnastics or not so that was like really hard for me it took me i think almost a month to decide if i wanted to quit gymnastics and what i did during that time i was thinking um if I still love the sport and if I have like a good future in the sport. Um, I love the sport, but then I didn't love it as much anymore. So that's why I decided to transition to obstacle course racing. So um, when I decided to quit, um, I was given different sports to try out. I tried um, 
gym. I, I tried cheerleading. I tried triathlon, trail running, and then I tried obstacle course racing because my mom brought me to this gym. And then when I tried out the different obstacles, I was like, oh, I didn't know that there was a sport like this. So I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the challenge of the obstacles. You said the buffer how many years you're into gymnastics and ano yun na itulong ng gymnastics sa sport mo ngayon? Um, gymnastics really helped me a lot in obstacle course racing because as a gymnast, I had, we all had to be super disciplined. Um, we trained for how many hours a day, and even if we we felt tired, we still continued training the next day. And aside from that, it um gymnastics also helped me with my strength, with my core and conditioning. Bukod ba sa obstacle course, may mga ibang sports ka pa ba na gusto mo itry or laruin? Oh, actually now, I decided to try out parkour. So it's really exciting because parkour also has some gymnastic side because mm -hmm. I'm used to doing flips. So when, when I'm doing parkour, I still do the flips I used to do. Is the parkour under na rin POSF yung... Kasi diba, like parkour kasi is also introduced na sa, I think ah, kasi uh, narinig ko din na uh, part na rin siya ng discipline ng International Federation, diba? So, so pwede ka na rin sumali sa mga ganong competition. Like, yes, actually, parkour was recently introduced, I think around last year lang. So mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. there was parkour now since before pa, but then there was no like federation handling parkour. So it's now under obstacle sports also. Maybe mm -hmm. my question, sila Ms. Rika or Sir yes. Andy. Yes. Hi, Kaizen. Hello. Hi, nice Ka to meet you. Hi. Um, my question mm -hmm. lang ako. Uh, what age did you start gymnastics and um? If you were, if you started out at a young age, do you think starting out pretty young, parang was it a factor na you parang sort of like fell out of love with it? Um, I started gymnastics when I was seven, so really young. Um, I think maybe it's because I started young, but then um, throughout the years, kasi I felt like burnt out also. So that's like one of the reasons why I didn't love it as much anymore. Okay. So you don't see any, uh, like any time in the future that you're going to go back to the sports. Parang you, <laughs> you sort of like talagang <laughs> burned the bridges now with gymnastics. Um, I don't see myself going back to gymnastics because talaga. I really love obstacle course racing right now. Wow. That's, that's, I know, I know. When you find the sport that you love, that's that's yeah. an amazing it's feeling. It's a difference, talaga, if you love the sport so much. Cause like, um, even now in obstacle course racing, even if I'm tired during training, I keep going because I love the company of the team and I love training. Wow, that's that's a great feeling, though. No? Speaking of the team, um, how many are you in your team? Um, so currently for national team were 16 members but then in our federation we also train with the national training pool and developmental pool so we're quite a lot then but like in sea games i think there were four of you in the, the team what yeah what factor uh or how much is your team relationship or dynamic how much of that is a factor for your diba you won the gold uh, 2019 so congratulations so how much of that was a factor in your win i think the chemistry between the team is a really like important factor because if you didn't get along well with your teammates um it's going to be harder to you know confront them to communicate with them so it's, uh, luckily before the sea games we also had um team building so that's what made us closer, and then we also had heart-to-heart -heart talks with each other. Wow, that's great. That's great. Um, also, I read that you were part of this by fearless Filipinas who dared to be different. Wow, that must be exciting. You no, know, firing you had 
it's a group of Filipinas, parang you were together with some other women also. So, uh, do you feel, do you, how do you feel about being a role model to other Filipinas now that you're, you're still very young? So, how does that feel na ang bata mo pa napabilang ka na in this very, very prestigious group of women? So, um, when I heard you about you're inviting me to be um, part of the Fearless Filipinas, um, I was super excited and at the same time, I was so humbled for this opportunity because um, knowing that I'm the, uh, one of the youngest who inspire other young athletes, it feels empowering also. And I hope that I can continue to inspire young athletes to, to that anything is possible if you um, go for it, if you strive to reach your goals. Wow, that's I'm sure you're inspiring a lot of women now because Obstacle course is pretty new, right? Not new, but it doesn't get as much exposure as other sports. In in ano ba tawag do? In obstacle course, you have different obstacles, right? Is there? Do you have a favorite obstacle or something that you look forward to? Um, I would have to say my favorites are um, monkey bars and rings. Um, those so are, close to gymnastics, uh, parin, no? Yes, yes. Those two gymnastics obstacles because it's more of upper body also. So, mm, okay. And, and if is there uh, any course that you feel na you still need to work harder on or do you have an Achilles, uh, Achilles heel na course na parang you feel like you need to train more for this course? Um, I know that I personally have to work on my still my upper body and my grip um because um my course is ninja so it's usually obstacles talaga like short run but obstacles wow <laughs> ang i know ang exciting ng pangalan ninja <laughs> ninja course ninja, yeah. <laughs> okay. <the> ninja. <laughs> oh, oh nako uh, it would be exciting to see you in action so yun um andy maybe you have other questions Thank you, Rika. Uh, hello, Kaizen. Hello, Paul. So you have you have a very uh, uh, beautiful name, and uh, obviously, I, I, I obviously you know the the meaning of uh, your name because in Japanese it means uh, I I believe it means change for the better or continuous improvement. Yes. Am I correct? Oh. Yes, you're correct, Paul. How how do you embody this? Um, uh, the meaning of your name does it also is it also a big part of your life uh even when you were younger and uh up to now uh, as a young lady um yes it really made a diff big difference because um whenever i feel like i wanted to you know uh, give up or like when i didn't want to do stuff anymore i would remember my purpose and i would also think na um like in terms of training it's better to do like little things rather than doing nothing because those little things will impact and it makes a big difference yeah i'm i'm interested and i'm actually very curious uh who who was the one who gave you the name kaizen was it your mom your dad your lola um it was my dad po. um he got it from a japanese book and like interesting fact my sisters also they have names like that um kai kaku and kai jinsei so it means life improvement and drastic improvement <laughs> so we're all named like that <laughs> wow that is great that's great um kudos to your dad <laughs> Thank you. yeah. and i'm sure you like your name a, a lot uh, obviously yes i do you there was this i know or there was this uh, no, uh, interview you did before earlier, I think with your, with one of your friends in uh, the LSU. I was uh, watching that and you, you guys were, there was one part of your interview that you talked about grit and how it that also affects how you go about the business of uh, no, being in sports, even when you were younger, because there was a time that uh, like when you were talking to Roan uh, no, earlier when you quit gymnastics because it it became uh, a bit uh, uh, a bit too much for you for the sport and the training that you you were doing um, how does this go 
uh, to ano naman OCR yung yung the grit that you were describing okay so for me grit kasi means uh, the determination to um, accomplish your long term goals so for optimal course racing especially during the sea games we had trainings beforehand where i would actually feel super tired um i would cry to my teammates i would be i would doubt myself sometimes also i'd be like are you sure that i'm supposed to be and i i should get like i should have the spot here but then i remember na um to have grit so i i made it a goal that i would be in the sea games and I'm super thankful that I was able to accomplish that goal and even win a gold medal for the country. All right. So uh, thank you. Thank you, Kaizen. Um, Brian, babalik ko sa iyo. Ako naman magtatanong. Medyo mahirap. Kaizen, just curious. Um, you said you started with um, cheerleading, then you went to gymnastics, am I right? Um, I started with um after gymnastics i tried cheerleading also oh okay and it was then gymnastics. that's where i tried sports too. okay yes. so i'm just yes, curious in, in between those may iba ka ba bang sports na trinay na iba aside from what you're go, planning to try now ano, may iba pa bang sports na trinay ka um i tried triathlon so triathlon is um swim bike run Mm -hmm. And I did it because my dad's a triathlete also, so he's he's he really supported me in like um, the mini triathlon races I joined, and it I really enjoyed it, naman. And then I also tried climbing. Um, it's because my teammates were um, also also did wall climbing, and I did it for fun too. And I also did trail running because um, my dad is into trail running. Where do you get the energy? <laughs> Where do you get the energy for all of it? Can you, can you, you, you will try it soon. After the pandemic, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. When we talked before before we went on air, before we, I asked you if you were into the triathlete competitions, you told me you're also a conditioning coach right now. Is that right? Um. No, actually, I, I do... You asked me kasi po na yeah. if I'm into CrossFit, right? But then yeah. I haven't been into like in CrossFit competitions. But then we're into strength and conditioning because our coach is into CrossFit. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry, my yeah. bad. Right. So, uh, um, ano, Roan? Questions yeah. mo? Marami kang tanong niya. <laughs> Wala naman akong tanong. <laughs> then, <Nope>. Kasi, <laughs> then I remember kasi when, when we were, ano, kasi... Diba, how many years din kami nagkasama sa gym. Then, yung mga teammates din ni Kai na nag-shift din to different sports. Like, sila Ronnie, nag-shift from gymnastics to jiu-jitsu. Sila, sila Gia, nag-crossfit din. And, and daming, and dami talagang um, gymnast na nag-shift ng ibang sport. Talagang, um, it's a good foundation talaga if, if yung, cha, yung bata is mag-start ng sports. What do you think about that? Yung anong sport dapat yung unang i-train when uh, kapag um, ayun, mga, ba, mga bata, ganun. Um, for me, I'm thankful that my parents made me try out gymnastics. I think a lot of gymnasts before who transferred to different sports, um, they're really doing well in the sports they're doing now because of the help of gymnastics. So I think that's a good sport to start with. But then if the child um, doesn't want, um, I think the child can also choose what they want. Because if the child loves what they're doing, then um, there's a possibility that, that they can pursue it really well. When you were training for uh, no, last 2090 SEA Games, because diba, ang hirap din ang training ng gymnastics. Shem, uh, how difficult yung training na OCR? Or how did you prepare yung, yung, yung last SEA Games nyo? Um, so before the SEA Games, we had um, one week training camp every month. So in that whole week, we would have two to three times training a day. 
So it was really tiring because we would have morning, afternoon trainings. And like we would try, we would have strength and conditioning. And then we would practice the obstacles itself. And we would also had running. So that was like in the track. So those those three we had to do. And I at times I would feel super tired and drained. But then the support of my teammates, my coaches, the federation really pushed me to continue and do my best. I think OCR is really a perfect sport for you because the strength you got in gymnastics and then you're also into running. Uh, yung sa, kung, uh, between gymnastics and uh, OCR, which is more difficult, yung training? I would have to say... I think gymnastics because we would train for around four hours a day and that made me <laughs> super tired also. And for obstacle course racing, of course, it's still um, difficult and challenging, but then I enjoy the <laughs> challenge of the of what we do. <laughs> uh, maybe Re- Miss Rika has a question or... Yes, uh, ako naman, I'm interested because you mentioned having super hard trainings, no? So what pri- primarily what is your diet composed of so that your body can recover well? Um actually I had a nutritionist during the Sea Games, Mrs. Janet. Um mm. she helped me um with my because me I I like eating. I really love food. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> so this, oh, my parents were like, um, we have to, you know, get you lean and stuff. So I was like, okay, now I have to follow this. Um, it, I'm not, it's not really strict, but then more of healthy, um, healthy diet. And it wasn't like, it didn't like, um, I liked it, naman. <laughs> yeah. Wow. How about? Uh, activities that you do to sort of like recover? Do you do cryo? Do you do, I don't know, some other sports like yoga just to uh, help your body recover? Um, so sometimes we would have yoga with the team and then um, every time we would have stretching after training because I think stretching is really important. And aside from that, we would also have PT. So if our bodies really hurt, um, we had like assigned PTs to help us and make like rehab. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And of course, as a 19 year old, <laughs> sports isn't all your life, Deba. Right? What else do you like doing as a 19 year old? Like, I, I know you're in school, right? Yes. So uh, aside from school and sports, what else do you like doing? So aside from like studying right now, I am into business then because my dad encouraged me to do business. Um, I started a business during the pandemic. It's called Move On PH. So it's a delivery um, app. So um, they can. It's a same day delivery app that can help you. You know, um, buying deliver from one city to another. Wow, that's interesting. So is your course in, I believe, LaSalle? Are you in LaSalle, D- DLSU? Yes, po. I'm is your DLSU. course business? business? Um, yes, po. BS Entrepreneurship. Mm, so that's what you plan on doing, like, yes. aside from sports. But do you plan to do, do you see yourself doing sports up until your middle <laughs> age? Or do you see yourself um, doing sports for a long time? I think I would end up doing sports for a long time. Um, maybe I can create a business also related to sports soon. I think it would wow. be good because it's a combination of two things I love the most. Yeah, can you put up an obstacle course park for <laughs> beginners like me? <laughs> Actually, um, we have um, our federation is setting up obstacle boxes around oh, wow. different places in the Philippines also. So, I think so these are boxes? Like, yes, it's an obstacle box. And there are a lot of obstacles in that box, around 12 obstacles. And that's like, a, you can just put it anywhere. So they put it in, um, I think there's one in Kubik, in 
like yeah those places mm-hmm. and that's free for everyone to to try out yes for, for a certain fee of course um, no, or is it free, free? Oh, it's wow. free because our federation is really trying to expand on the sport because it's it's not as known as the other sports mm-hmm. so that's what we're they're doing in order to make optional course racing known wow that's that's great i hope a lot of uh women get inspired to to join the sport then no? would you yeah. say na there's in your team parang there's an imbalance as to the number of men and women in the team on the lang bakay sa team or are you recruiting more girls in the team um so actually during our sea games team we were equal lang po but mm-hmm. then um I think we need more girls to try out obstacle course racing because um, obstacle course racing is a sport, a uh, uh, male-dominated sport. Then, po. So hopefully, more I, we inspire more women to try out obstacle course racing. Yes, yes, I hope so too. <laughs> so, mga sa mga nanonood jan, try na go to the nearest <laughs> obstacle course park. And okay, um, Sir Andy, maybe you have questions, pa? Thank you, Rika. Uh, uh, Kaizen, um, at in the ano, the, did the athletics department of uh, the LSU contact you already about, you know, maybe um, being offered the scholarship because you're a Sea Games gold medalist and you're giving an ano, honor to the school also. Um, actually, I haven't been contacted po because there's no obstacle course racing in college. So hopefully soon po na they bring obstacle course racing in a UF. Mm-hmm. So for for us who are um who have not tried the uh, obstacle course racing, can you give us like a a, a brief explanation of what? Uh, OCR is for for in, in layman's terms. Okay, um, so for obstacle course racing, it's composed of different obstacles um that involve upper body, um also lower body balance, coordination, grip. So it's a lot. It um it um involves the whole body, and I think anyone can try obstacle course racing, even the beginners or those who aren't into uh sports. I think it's a really good um, thing to try. Yeah. Also, in in terms of of your ano Sea Games uh, participation, was was were there stages or sections of the race that you thought was uh, your best? Talaga. I mean, can you give us a top three best on in what stage of the race were those ano? Uh, that you were in, parang yung time mo, kumbaga, this is your best time in these three stages. Okay. So, um, for the SEA Games po, kasi like what mentioned earlier, um, we're a team. So 400 meters team assist. And what we do there is we go through all the obstacles together. So it's different from relay po na one person does four obstacles. So we have to do all the obstacles talaga po. And... Hmm. Um, I guess what the Philippines was good at um, was the um, last part, which was the um, the warp wall. It was a really big wall, and what we had to do was go on top of each other in order to get up into the wall. And the the, ch- the challenge there was there was water flowing down, so it was slippery. So wow. it took a lot of time to practice that in order to have an adv- advantage compared to the other teams. But did did you get to generate that type of ano uh, the type of experience also in your ano play practice venue like um, I mean the exact course? Yes, but luckily in the advantage of the Philippines was we had some of the obstacles for the Sea Games, so we really practiced that obstacle because at mm-hmm. first it was really a challenge for us. We it took us like two minutes to get over it, but then. After we practice, it only took like um twenty seconds during the sea games around that time. Wow, a big very difference. impressive. <laughs> very impressive. Okay, thank you, Kaizen. Uh, Brian, kau naman. 
Yon. Thank you, Andy. Uh, uh, may ang rito Kaizen. Qu- question from somebody you know? From Gab Ferreras. If, Kaizen, if you are willing na mabukunahan ng COVID vaccine, although may priority din ang SEA Games Mount Athletes, will you choose to pursue it? At ano ba maging epekto mo sa, perform- sa performance mo? Okay po. Um, so luckily, our federation is actually planning for um, the national team athletes to have the vaccine. So when that's available already for us, I would take it for. Right. It's gonna help us a lot because so I, we can con- uh, continue training together. Mm, I see. So I think the other question na manigab na sagot ng ah, ah ito. Al- I'll just improvise this question. Alam ko meron din kayong humanitarian projects na ginagawa in the past. I mean, uh, can you tell us more about this? Okay po. So for move on, um, uh, we decided to help the typhoon victims po. So we went to um, different places and we gave out, the, distributed the um, fan goods for the families po. And then also during this pandemic, we um started this project called Todo para sa Tondo. So actually Ate Roan knows about this. She helped promote this business. I, 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 this um this advocacy and it was to help those children who didn't have access to gadgets for their online classes. So what we did was we found different athletes of different sports to go live on their our page and encourage other people to do it. Oh, very nice. That's, not, that's very, you know, okay. You know? But anyway, I'll ask my questions now. <laughs> um, I'm, I have, um, I'm just curious. Um, did, were, have you ever encountered any injuries? I, I know you're still young, but um, have you suffered any injuries along the way? Um, I suffered injuries during gymnastics. Um, I think it was my ankle because um, in gymnastics, we had to land a lot of times. For OCR, po, I didn't have intense injuries, naman po, which was super good. Because <laughs> I was able to watch your, ano, your that event your, of yours. Sino ba yung mga matitibing kalaban ng Philippines at that time? Um, um Malaysia. Mm-hmm. And also Vietnam, po, but then Vietnam didn't bring athletes to the sea games oh okay so wait you, you mentioned vietnam and the, the v- vietnam is go- it well unless if everything goes falls in this place it's going to be the host in december so um are, how are the preparations of the team if, assuming that it pushes through um so, uh, unfortunately for um, Vietnam didn't include obstacle course racing. Oh. So yes, we're really sad about it, but it's okay. Uh, they were afraid of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why also, Paul, because I know in Vietnam, there are a lot of people who are actually there. So I, we were pretty surprised that they didn't include those who are in the list. That is strange, considering. Okay, so if the sea games out, um, any uh, any supposed competitions you you had internationally? Um, this year, po, we have the UNAA. We actually had our qualifiers last February, mm-hmm. or around March, palapo. And then, um, the competition is in Las Vegas, so that's around July. But we're not really. Sh- I'm not really sure personally if it's gonna be Puloy because. You know the cases are rising here. Yeah. So. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, Rowan. Uh, Kai, cause, syempre, you were part of the cheerleading team in the Assumption, and new school na part ka kayan is part of UAEP. Uh, cheer does yung DLS. You, I think, magig asset ka ng DLS yung animal squad. Nagoffer na ba sila sa you, or are you interested to be part of the DLS you animal squad? Um, I actually was considering cheerleading, um, like during for DLSU, but then they, um, I'm not really sure about it yet because the training is still online. So I'm trying to focus on obstacle course racing now. Talaga. 
Hopefully Or, soon. Mm-hmm. Pag may, ano na, UAAP. Other competitions. Mm-hmm. I would be interested to try it out. Pero this year, ano yung mga nilalook forward pa pa sa OCR? Um, so aside from our competition um, abroad in Las Vegas, we have qualifiers. For, so the qualifiers is to determine who's going to be in the national team and what category um, I'm going to compete in. So my category now is actually the ninja category because I'm not really into running now. Because in OCR, there are different um, categories. There's ninja, which is puro obstacles. And there's like 5K or longer distances where it's more of run, but there's still obstacles in between. Kapag nagde-train ka, how many hours yung training nyo? Like, kasi parang nakakangalay din, no? Parang sabit ka ng sabit. Gano'n ka tagal yung training nyo? Um, so, our training would be, with the team, would be around two, and, two hours. So, it it's either we do obstacle training or we do strength and conditioning. Sino yung uh, gumagawa ng strength and conditioning ninyo? So our coach is Coach Kentan. So he's the one who leads. He's a CrossFit coach also. So he's the one who helps us with the comp- uh, strength and conditioning. Then aside from that, we also have our running program. I forgot to mention. So that's given to us and we run in our own basement. Do you have like online um, program or, or mga virtual event? this year or during the pandemic during this ecq we have we had um a challenge a dead hang challenge so that's in a like bar or any place you can hang and then we had to hold there for as long as we can and yeah it's it's, it was really tiring then aside from that we have a parkour um online one so we just like find bench like or We use the floor to do the tricks and whatsoever. Do you have upcoming competitions sa uh, parkour? Mm-hmm. Um, for parkour, we had the parkour, regional parkour cup. So, so um, it was online lang. So we had to film doing our run. And aside from that, we also had in pretty huge obstacles to determine who's going to be in the Uh, developmental pool of part two. Oh, so ah, uh, so they're ano na they're looking for athletes now. Uh, yes, they're they're actually looking for athletes, ah. and we need more girl athletes actually for part two because we're we're really little. We're just three to four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know I know other athletes who into parkour, like my boyfriend si Johnny is into parkour talaga. The oh, at the last, uh, we also are not. Ano ito, last, aside from gymnastics, nagturo kami ng, ng parkour sa mga bata sa orphanage. May skills na rin sila, kaso di mo na kami inalaw pumasok sa orphanage kasi nga ECQ. So, ayun, ayun di, ko, di ko sure kung kailan ko na sila mabisita. Ayun, ayun baka pwede sila. <laughs> yes, maybe they can join parkour because gymnast, gymnasts are a like, great asset when they try out parkour. Mm-hmm. Kasi lips, yeah. <laughs> They're ano na rin, they're into parkour na rin kasi my boyfriend is teaching parkour parkour skills sa kanila. <laughs> yes, nice. Actually, uh, there are a lot of um parkour athletes na who are young also. So I think you can ask them to join. Maybe uh, uh may message ka sa mga kasi I know some artists who really w- want to try of cycle course. I think they tried na kasi The diba, other athletes kasi parang they want to parang they were offered by POSF to try it for free and for those who really want to try what, what maybe have a message for them um for those who want to try obstacle course racing try it already because it's super fun and at the same time challenging um don't be intimidated by the obstacles and Um, if you haven't been training a lot, I think when you get back to up, ob- when you try obstacle course racing, it's gonna be enjoyable, parin, and it's gonna develop your strength. And 
um, your strength, your conditioning, etc. Yeah. Sir Brian, maybe you have questions? Ba't wala na ba si Rika? Ba't ako tinatanong nyo? Rika, wala ka tanong? Um, sige, I'm gonna ask you about school. Kasi you're, di ba, um, you have school, you have, you're starting college, and alam naman natin na being an athlete, you need to sleep early, you need to have sufficient amounts of rest. So how are you planning to balance your school life with your training? Okay. So actually, it's been a bit difficult adjusting because of online class. It's online. Um, What I do when I have... um My schedule now, po kasi, it's morning and I have afternoon classes. So in between that, that's when I train. It's either in between class or after class. So that's when mm. I find time to train. And then you have enough sleep naman. You're getting enough rest, recovery, yes. and sleep. Oh, that's great. Yes, I love sleeping. <laughs> Same. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> yeah. Also, ito, I think uh, we are in a new era right now. We have more female athletes. But I guess some women still feel na they can't do sports. Uh, lalo na obstacle course, di ba? When you watch it, it's really, really... Some uh, intense talaga yung mga horses. So what can you say about uh what can you say to these women? Na parang I I feel like I want to try it, but I don't think I can do it. So what can you say? Baka ma- meron, di ba? Someone is contemplating, but then they don't they don't feel like they can do it. Yeah. Um, I think women in sports, like in obstacle, actually all sports. I think it makes them feel more confident, more empowered with themselves because. Um, you're doing something na out of your comfort zone, and at the same time, um, it's it gives you that like challenge. So I think um, more women talaga should be into sports because it's really an amazing feeling, especially when you accomplish um, your goals in the certain sport. Do you see yourself doing some advocacy for women, for more women, like to 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 invite more women to do sports? Um, in the future, some something like that, parang advocacy for that. Actually, yes. Po. I hope I try to, you know, encourage more women talaga to be into sports. And I think women empowerment is so, it's like super important right now. <laughs> yes, so relevant, di ba? Yes. So great. Great to know. <laughs> I, yes. hope, I, I hope you inspire, I, I'm sure, actually, that you're inspiring a lot of young ladies na they can balance school with sports and at the same time they can be beautiful they can be lovely they can do other things as well ayun so uh, sir andy or brian do you have any go ahead andy thank you rika um kaizen you you i know um explained briefly about uh how important your family is in uh, in your life can may i ask like when you tran- transition to from from uh, gymnastics going to ocr uh, what was their reaction or was what, what what did they tell you about it when you decided and told them that you would change sports at first po, actually my family was a bit shocked about the decision because I've been doing gymnastics for how many years? So it's like, oh, wow, you're finally deciding to stop the thing you've been doing for a long time. But then I'm really grateful that when I like talk to them about it, they were super supportive. And they even helped me find different sports to try out. So it was my mom who brought me to, to training and to a full course. So I'm really grateful that they're so, they've been so supportive throughout my whole sports journey. Um, you, you said that your your parents were the one who took you to ano to 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 training. I'm I'm curious also if uh, ha, were your siblings also into sports and if and if they they were what were the sports that did they try? Actually, my siblings also tried out gymnastics. So um, after they decided to stop gymnastics, also they now do fencing. Both of them do fencing. 
and they do online training now. So there's there's super sipag din. <laughs> Are they also in uh, DLSU? Um no po, they're still in Assumption po. They're younger than me. Yeah. Younger than you. So you are the role model for them. Yes, hopefully role model. <laughs> speaking of role models, how did your your parents uh yung yung inspire you to to go to sports and I'm I'm sure you were the you gymnastics spark uh, an interest in you personally, but looking at your parents what did you see that sort of, sort of help you i know get into sports um as I, my parents both my parents are into sports also so like i mentioned earlier my dad's into triathlon running really sports he loves sports and my mom is also into running um but what really inspired me to you know pursue sports is like their support their so like full-on support because during gymnastics, my parent, my mom would uh, bring me there and then she would make my food and then she would um, make my recovery drink and then she would wait for me and watch me during training. So that's what kept me going. Wow. So that's a great mom. Great mom. <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking of uh, no training, because I understand in gymnastics and also in OCR, um, you need to develop your flexibility and obviously your balance and the pa and your power. Um, transitioning into OCR, how did you train to, to make sure you still had that flexibility, that balance, that, that power you needed to finish the course? What were the, what were the specific trainings you did for those three elements that you need? Um, so for that po, I still continued to first like try out the obstacles. And when I tried out the obstacles, parang I found techniques from gymnastic that would that could help me. Like example for coordination and then we also have like an obstacle balance team also type. So that's that's how like I tried. I just brought the things I learned from gymnastics to OCI. I see. Thank you, Kaizen. Uh, Godfather. <laughs> Pag wala nakita lang ako talaga tatawagin nyo. Eh, no? <laughs> okay. okay, Kaizen, I have a question for you. Um, have you tried any martial arts sports or fighting sports? Not yet. You, uh, do you have any plans? Um, Not now, but I would want to try for... Because it, it looks interesting also. Uh, any kind of sport, any 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 particular uh, sport that you have, you're, you're, in, you, you're contemplating on trying? I want to try, oh, because my friend Ronnie, she used to be a gymnast also. She does jiu-jitsu now. So I want to oh, try that out. I think know? it's compatible na jiu-jitsu <laughs> and, uh, no, and gymnastics. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. well, she's doing it now and I want to try. And at the same time, she's going to try OCR also. Oh, oh straight that right? <laughs> Nice. Oh, oh. The, the reason why I'm asking is if we have a boxer here who might want to recruit you. <laughs> <laughs> recruit. <laughs> no, I don't yes. know. Uh, uh -oh. but, but seriously, um, when you say that you're coming from gymnastics, it means that you, you have a flexible body. Um, it, it's very important in most martial arts, like, uh, like is, you said. Yeah. Jiu Jitsu, Taekwondo, I mean, most of the, you know, most everything of the people actually, I know. Uh, yeah, all everything actually, all the sports. Karate, wrestling, yeah. Muay Thai. Yeah, yun yung mga, ano, kumbaga, I mean, along the way. Not, maybe, not, not necessarily at the competitive level, but maybe, you know. Yeah, it's a good uh, cross training. Yes, yes. I want to try um, Muay Thai because I tried it before also. Muay Thai and boxing. I want to try it now. Go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you're gonna do great in it. Oh. Yeah. Well, how tall are you, guys? If you don't mind me asking, how tall are you? I'm five six po. Mm, tam yeah. tam uh, mm -mm. That's pretty tall for a yeah, <laughs> Filipina yeah, yeah. fighter. <laughs> oh my. That's true. That's true. Mga petit kami, mga <laughs> Filipina fighters mostly atom weight or straw weight. So, medyo nasa petit ano, side. Tapos, 
Ano ko rin, ano, uh, how about yung mga triathlon, you said your dad is competing, is a triathlete. Uh, are you, have, do you have any other, any plans to take it seriously? I mean, really compete? Um, maybe the mini competitions lang po, but I'm not sure if I want to. Oh wait, actually, pala, they're trying to incorporate triathlon also with obstacle course racing. Um, so, like swim, bike, run, and then maybe some obstacles. And they're also planning to incorporate adventure racing. Mm-hmm. So, it's, it's exciting. I think adventure racing is like trail running and maybe rowing. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Yeah. So, for me, you're already there. Kumbaga, I've met some, some triathletes, they're already there. And I, I, I feel you're already at that level. So, just an idea. Well, not necessarily. So, Roan or si oh, ba- babalik yun naman sa akin yung mic. Add <laughs> ko lang, I remember um, before the SEA Games, I think two years before the SEA Games, no? I think you competed pa ng gymnastics competition international, di ba? Parang naalala ko yun eh. Parang yes, ang bilis na shift. Oo, Hong Kong, you competed yes. in Hong Kong. Then like a year, then SEA Games, OCR. So, like, yeah, para, di ba, for how many years you competed in Palarong Pambansa, you won a lot of medals in Palarong Pambansa, and then yon international competition gymnastics, and then into OCR. Para ang bilis, parang, parang lahat na, ex, na excel ka na kaagad sa mga sinasalihan mo. Parang ano yung nagiging training mo mentally, or ano yung parang goals? Parang ano yung pinaka-goal mo talaga? Um, so for my like mental training, especially during the sea games, there were times because I felt um scared or like parang pressured because of course competing in the host country and everyone's like watching you. But then oh we had for mental training we had um visualization. So I think visualization is really important, especially before a competition. And aside from that, it's also goal setting because I remember before the sea games. Um, everyone, uh, our coaches would always mention gold medal, gold medal. So I think that's it's really important na, to set your goals. Yeah. You mentioned that this year, wala yung uh, OCR sa Vietnam Sea Games. Um, do you think sa next Sea Games or Asian Games or Olympics magiging part yung OCR or yung parkour? Um, nag-aim ka rin ba to be uh, to join to join some world competition or the yeah new Olympics kapag naging part na yung OCR. Uh, y- yes, I plan to you know join that. Um, I think our federation they're trying to in- make it included in like Asian Games, but I'm not sure if it's like final or ready. But aside from that, I'm planning to join world competitions. Hopefully, actually the one I'm supposed to compete this year that's a world competition. Then so. Oh, yeah. And also, syempre, yung mga kapatid mo, they're into sports. Uh, they ha- do they have plans of trying OCR? Nag- nakapag-try na ba sila? Um, they tried one time, but then they didn't really like it as much. So they decided to pursue fencing lang. Because I think they really love fencing naman. Talagang, ano... Nasa dugo talaga nila kay Zen yung magiging athletic from yun kay Tito Marnie, si Kala Tita Len, and then Kala Kaku. Ayun, maybe, ayun, Sir Brian. Sabi ko lang ako, papasa pa na naman sa akin. Maybe, <laughs> okay, may question oh, ako. Oh, you can promote, ay sige mamaya na, pwede niya i-promote yung move on, how to download the app, uh, yun. Yeah, yeah. Para, I'm just curious, <laughs> kay Zen, you, um, what age did you start gymnastics? Seven po. Seven. Okay, so you mentioned na nagpipensing yung mga sisters mo? Yes. How come you never tried it? Oh, I tried fencing after oh, Sea Games, right? actually. Oh, oh okay. I didn't, I didn't like it that much. I told, I, I told them, they're like, what? Why don't you like it? I'm like, mm, not for me. Uh, under who? Or where did you try it? Um, It's in Green Hills, po. Oh, you want to put the Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Rapid na sa amin yun, ha? Okay. Anyway, Andy, may tanong ka pa? 
Uh, thank you, Sir thank you. Brian. Um, Kaizen, again, I'm very ano, uh, interested in knowing, uh, are there any other sports that you would like to try? Because you, you mentioned, obviously, you, you want a gold medal in OCR. You want to try parkour. Is there any other sport other than those two and along with triathlon? Is there any other sport you would like to try or you're interested in trying? Um, I would actually want to try track and field for that's what because um like I mentioned earlier, um in U app there's no obstacle course racing. So maybe if that it doesn't continue, maybe I can try track and field instead. Is there a certain event that you are that you see do you feel that can I know, uh maximize your I know, your your talent? Um, I think for the sprints, po, the sh shorter distances in track, like 100 meters, hopefully. But there is yung pole vault. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's interesting. Then. Yeah, that, that's a good uh, good point that Roan said because uh, since you, you this connects to what you said, Kanina, that you have uh, upper body strength. Mm -hmm. So this will definitely play to your strength. Yes, po. Then maybe I know javelin. Then you could try javelin. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Javelin sports. <laughs> yeah. The try. After the pandemic, I'll try. Yeah. So, one one more question, Kaizen. Um, wh what type of training are you doing now? Like, if you have a trainer with your C Games team of OCR. What type of exercises does your trainer do that is for you guys to ano, maintain your ano, your fitness? So for me, po, I'm currently working on upper body pa rin. So a lot of pull-ups, a lot of dead hangs. So that's what I'm currently working on. Also the grip. Um, um, I I, buta na lang, I have equipment din at home, like some pull-up bars, which can, so it means I can still do it while I'm at home. Yeah. How many pull-ups can you do in one go? Oh, in maximum, one go. Maximum. Um, maybe, if it's strict pull-up, maybe around uh, 10 to 12. 10 yeah. to 12. Yes. I can do one. <laughs> That's it. I'm good with one. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Back thank to you. you. <laughs> Back to you, Godfather. Okay, Rika, meron ka bang questions or are you good? Mm, I'm good na, I'm good. Ron? I'm good na rin po. Naubusan kayo, no? Masakit ang hitin ko. Ako nga pala, so, mga pala, meron nga pala. So, sige, um, siguro, um, Kaizen, thank you for, ano, for, for, uh, ano, obliging to this interview. Before we let you go, can we get Siguri your final words? And if you want to promote something, you just have to be and maybe you'd yeah. like to tell our viewers uh, how how can how you this download the app. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um. First, thank you for inviting me here. It's a really great opportunity to share more about obstacle course racing since it's not really known. And um, for move on, po, uh, you can download the app to the app store. So just search move on ph, and then you can use it for your same day delivery. Mm -hmm. Yon. Wala ka nang gustong batiin? Ayan. Oh, wait. May question pala ako dyan. Oo nga. I think your dad's watching. Is oh. he? <laughs> I'm not sure, but maybe hi. <laughs> hi to my family. <laughs> if they're watching. Yon. So, yon. So, before we let you go, I'd like to allow me to give the others also a chance to say their final words. Uh, siguro, let's start with Andy. Kaizen, thank you for uh, for your time and your ano um, and your answers to ano great answers to our questions. Uh, thank you, ano Godfather, for inviting me here. And uh, thank you. Uh, also, I, I know it's nice to see Rika and Roan again after several weeks. So uh, great to be here, and I hope that ano OCR will ano will grow as uh, ano and hopefully when when we are ano when pag bumaba na yung mga positive cases sa Philippines mas 
mas maano pa yung sport, mas makilala pa yung sport. So, thank you. True, true, true. Tsaka Andy, napasaba ka ngayon, no? hindi na volleyball eh. Hindi volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and Roan, uh, kumakapagsalita ka pa. <laughs> Kaya pa po. <laughs> Sana hindi na nanonood yung dentista ko. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, ano, of course, thank you, Sir Brian, and of course, co- to my co-host, Ms. Rika and Sir Andy, and of course, our guest today, Kaizen. Siyempre, I've known her for how many years, and yun nga, sinasabi ko nga, she really exercised ang mga sport na pinupuntahan niya, and I'm really proud of her, and Her story is always inspiring talaga. Not just for me, for every woman and sa lahat talaga. Thank you. And also to our viewers. So that explains bakit ayaw mo ma-miss kasi kilala mo pala si Kaisa, hindi mo sinasabi sa akin. Hindi <laughs> 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 oh, po. Opo, wag na po kayo magkakilala ni Kaisa. <laughs> But you, ha? You're not, ano, ha? <laughs> Dapat may ano. Uh, Rika. Yes, so thank you. Thank you, Direk, Brian, for this opportunity. Thank you, and Roan and Sir Andy. It's such a joy to do interviews with you guys. And of course, Kaizen, thank you for giving us your time. I'm sure there are a lot of ladies out there who were inspired by it. Ako, I really love interviewing female athletes, being a female athlete. Then parang, I feel like we have this duty to the world <laughs> and to other women to show them that it's possible, that you shouldn't be scared. Because you just don't know how many women say na, ah, hindi ko kaya yan, hindi ko ka- masakit, or hindi ako malakas without even trying. So it's really, this this is this is a great story to show the world na someone like you, like me, like Roan, can can try out sports, extreme sports for that matter. So thank you very much for your your story. And to our viewers, thank you for watching. And ayun, samahan nyo na ako mag-try ng... OCR. At magpahulog-hulog tayo dyan. At Try na-inspire yan. mo ako mag-trararoan. Na-inspire mo ako mag-try. I'll hold you if you try. Yes, please! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ayan. So, bago ko muna sabihin sa akin, I'd like to get a class picture muna. Yes! Para no, excuse ka lang. Okay, on three. One, two, three. There you go. All right. So again, thank you, guys. And I think I'll have to invite you again, but this time let's talk about business because I'm training another upcoming host from the sporting world. Um, more on business side though. But let's talk about that another day. So, thank you again, and everybody. We hope you enjoyed our time with Kaizen. Um, it was so very informative, and hopefully this helps the sport also. At abangan nyo kami mamayang 8 o'clock. Babalik na naman kami ni Andy for another round of volleyball talks. But the good news is I won't be talking that much. It will only be Andy <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> anyway, thank, happy weekend everybody. And remember, stay safe. Ma- yung cases tumataas, please stay at home. Happy weekend and good afternoon, bye.